we got our recording going here. And uh, now, wait a minute, I'm trying to go live here out on the Facebook. Let's see if it does it. What? It's having trouble doing it? Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, hold on a moment, folks. Uh, go live. Okay. We're trying. You do not have permission to live stream. Hold on a moment, folks. Uh, we're recording, but I've got a problem today. Okay. Uh, we'll go to... Um, more and then we go live on Facebook. Okay, there we go. All righty, now I have to put in my name here. Oh, god, this is a mess. I, you know, uh, it was always, uh, I, you know, this, this part I couldn't try in advance to make sure it works. So, uh, what's the date today? Today is 11. Slash Seven slash twenty twenty two. Okay, and uh, I, I could uh, let me see here. Let me just do one other thing here that I've got to do, and that would be to uh, put here the uh, how you sign in paste. Okay, there we go, and I'm going to try now. Here we go. Is that going to go? There we go. Oh, boy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you know, we had a problem here uh, just a second ago. It, when I tried to go to it, it wouldn't let me go to it. So now it's letting me go to it. So we're okay. All right. Here we go. Admit all. There we go. Here's our, this is our Monday show. And uh, sorry we're a little late, folks. Uh, didn't want it to be late, but, you know, um, uh, I uh, I went to start it and it didn't uh, believe what I wanted it to do. So uh, there we go. Uh, here comes. Uh, let's see here. Admit uh, Jeff Stein. Admit Chris uh, Charlie Wallace. I keep saying Chris Wallace. But, you know, I don't embarrass him that way. There's Charlie Wallace. Uh, and uh, I guess that's all we got right now. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good. 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 Yeah? good. Good, good, good. Everybody's feeling good. Anyway, ah, uh, man. Charlene has her hand up. Huh? Yes. Charlene has her hand up. Charlene? Can you... Hi. Yeah, I just wanted to tell Marjorie that I saw her the other, you guys, the other day, and she was saying about being an older lady, and I just wanted to tell her how great she looks. I think she looks fantastic. I think she looks great, but, you know, that's my opinion. Uh, Thank you so much. You made my day. Oh, a, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. glad. I'm horrified by the person who's sleeping in bed next to me. So, <laughs> you know. Oh, uh, well, here comes Paul Levin. Let's see here. Let's admit Paula. There we go. Yeah, yeah she'll be joining any second. Um, anyway, um, you know, you know I, I, I just got to tell them quickly something that we don't normally talk about here my health uh no i've been moving this the breathing what do you mean you never talk about your health <laughs> oh my god i can't believe what i'm hearing breathing problems where i feel like i have an asthma <laughs> I keep on trying to figure out what it is you know i give up you know it, is it is it cancer what is it and i uh. I was talking to Bubbles today, my free comedian friend, Larry Bubbles Brown. He said, you know what it probably is? It's the work they're doing on your apartment house. Yeah. And I went, well, that makes sense because there's all this dust. I mean, it flies everywhere. And uh, I, this apartment house is riddled with it now. No matter how much they try to dust off the uh, the shelves and everything or the sills, uh, it, you know, I'm being poisoned by these landlords. And probably asbestos. Well, that's oh. one way they'll get rid of us. I don't know if this is asbestos. I looked it up, and what it is, it's silica, because the stuff you use to, uh, to go in between the what they do is they they go in the building and all the bricks they go to all the grout between the bricks so it's being repointed and then repoint it okay is what that's where they get the term pointing it's actually called pointing 
something. There's another term that's part of tuck, po tuck pointing, it's called. But anyway, uh, and and so all that dust goes everywhere. I mean, these guys are wearing masks, okay? Uh, and uh, because OSHA says they have to. Uh, so if they're getting it, I mean, what am I getting? You know, so I think that's what's been my problem here. It may also be the reason I'm tired a lot. You know, it's just, uh, you know, so uh, the landlord's poisoning me now. That's my latest gripe against uh, things. Uh, hello to Shecky. How are you, Shecky? I'm fine. Sorry, I didn't call you this weekend, but I was busy being sick. With, uh, okay. Being you. By my, huh? It's a good excuse. Yeah, but does that sound logical, that explanation? I don't know. You don't know. Anyway, how are you doing, Shecky? I'm fine. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and how how are you? Uh, let's see. Uh, there's there's Edward Berger, and we got that's right, we got Charlene, and we got Paula, and we got Lynn Lafrisco. Uh, I hope uh, I, I hope we hear from uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Mandy. Mandy. Mandy, yeah, we'll from her in a couple of weeks, I think. Well, she got the new house now. Maybe she's sure, busy yeah. working. On that could be it too. You know. Uh, and and also, I mean, she's you know got to be out stumping for Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> he was a football player, the Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah, yeah. And he got he and was voted most popular with brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, you know, I don't. You know, I understand why they these uh, politicians love to see a, a famous person running because they have public recognition. But it doesn't mean they're good at what they're running for, you know. And um, so that kind of bothers me, you know. But like Herschel Walker, so he was a football player. Oh, here comes Mandy. Here comes Mandy. Okay. We hold on a second. Let's get her in on this since since we're hi, hi Mandy. We were just talking about you, wondering where you were. Uh, here we yeah, go so again, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting that you two show up at the same time. So that, that is a lot. Mandy, keep it down in there. And <laughs> say, <laughs> yeah. To yeah. So are you going to vote tomorrow? I already voted. You already voted. Mm -hmm. like, can we ask you to vote? I'm sure you voted for Walker. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, hard decision. But I went with Reverend Warnock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and uh, let's see here. Do you, you vote for governor? I voted for Stacy. Yes. No, I voted for Stacy. Well, at least it's nice you could do a little thing. Boy, you're, you. I did make a joke on Facebook that I wrote in Zell Miller, but that was just a joke. <laughs> so, but yeah. You know, they had a guy in Philadelphia who's running for uh, uh, governor named Shapiro. Mm -hmm. This guy speak. He's really good. This is a good public speaker. And all of a sudden, I'm realizing what he's doing is he's working off the playbook of Barack Obama. He's got the same phrasing, the same hand movements. Very good. And then, of course, he's running with his pussy. <laughs> Alex, your sound is, is a little high. Yeah, you're terrible today. Really modulating. Yeah, yeah it's kind of modulating. Mod 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 yeah. It's a little distorted, a little overmodulated. Yeah. <clears throat> Out that way to you guys. And YouTube is like that too. Everyone's complaining. Really? Hey, wait, 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 wait. I agree. Modulating. I have to know where Charlie got his shirt. Huh? <laughs> I need to send one of those to my daughter. I need to get one from those for my daughter for Christmas, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see here. Let me. I'll, I'll turn this down here. Is that better? Oh, oh keep yeah. talking. Amazon.com. No, uh, the, how, how about this? Yeah. yeah, just keep talking and we'll, we'll be able to tell. Well, I'm talking. Hello. Is this sound better? <laughs> Does it sound yeah, better, better to you? Yeah, yeah. That, that is way better. 
Okay. That's better, yeah. I wonder if this will change what's going out on online. Uh, that would be interesting. Uh, speaker's mm -hmm. high definition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I because I don't know why I would be over modulating. I'm not over modulating here. Okay. That looks, uh, that's much better. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's much better. I mean, yeah. what you're hearing of me, but what about the people out there? Yeah, who who cares are... about them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who cares about them? Right, exactly. <laughs> Let me tell them to listen to the show online. Right, Hello, gang. Hello from San Francisco. I would think I I would think his gain is up too high. That's <laughs> all the uh, the only the only notification I got. Well, I'm uh, tell me if it's okay now, folks. I'll yeah, that's fine to me. Well, I know yeah. it's fine to you, but how about the people listening on Facebook? They're all sound. No, uh, Renshaw says it's good now. No. Oh. Okay. Well. I don't know what it is. You know, they did that. What they did is they changed. If you all notice, they updated the Zoom because most of you probably got a notice. Oh, we had the update or it was. Updated. Oh, yeah. And when they update, yeah. sometimes they put things back the way they were and not the way you set them up. You know, so uh, that's. Uh, that's uh, Every time they update, I got to go back and reset all my defaults or whatever. Wait a minute, I've got that going on too. Uh, I'm getting that too low. Let me see here. Let me see here. Audio. And uh, let me do this. Tell me, tell me if, if anything has changed, guys. Mm -hmm. But this is this is a, this is what I need for their audio. Okay. So hopefully it's better. Yeah, much better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Back back more Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. oh, she wasn't on. She wasn't gonna, you know, take all the everyone's hi Mandy. How you doing, Mandy? How's the new house, Mandy? How's work, Mandy? What are you working on today, Mandy? You know, those type of things. Hey, I'm happy that she's got a new house. That's one. Yeah. yeah, now tell us about your new house here on the Mandy O'Brien show. <laughs> Hi, I'm out of here. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> what are you doing home from work anyway, Brian? <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's a wellness day for me. Uh, wellness yeah. day. Oh. Yeah, we have wellness days now. Jeez. Oh, yeah. those. And what you better, you better take, ah. take two. <laughs> well, first of all, but let me ask you about your wellness day. Then we'll get to Mandy, who is far more important than you are. <laughs> um, <we're laughs> yes, we want to know about this wellness day. We yes. want to know about wellness day. What? How do you? What do you have? What excuse do you have to give, or don't you have to give one? No. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, they announced they would give us a, a, a wellness day, so we can celebrate wellness and feel good. So between now and the end of the year, we got one. So use it. One wellness day. Huh? One wellness day. One wellness day. Yeah, we're celebrating people's wellness. And I'm doing bills. So that's my. Hardly going to make you feel well. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get over to more important things right now. Mandy. Uh, uh, <laughs> your, yeah. your house. Did you? Yes, I did it last weekend. Yeah. And um, I'm still having my she shed built. They're not finished yet. So I have a lot of she shed. Well, I'm having a shed because the house is only 1,097 square feet. It's small. So I just have some extra furniture that I need to get rid of. So, no, but I have a shed out back. It's being built. It's cool. The she shed? Well, That's it's not really called it. Shed. It's going to be a junk shed. Oh, a junk shed. Okay. But this little 75 year old man is building it. It's really cute. Oh. Um, um, but then we moved my mom in on two days later, I moved my mom to a new place. So I'm just worn out. From yeah, I, I compare everything to, to our apartment. We're 2,500 square feet here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this place is unbelievable. Just two bedrooms. Well, you know, yeah. Tiny. So cute, though. Yeah. Uh, uh, Len ha has been here. He He knows what it's like. It just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a big joint. Yeah. yeah. And it keeps poisoning and poisoning. <laughs> I, 
I started to wonder if we went through the third or fourth room. I said, it's going to take me back here and kill me. I <laughs> when you were walking down the street, I think I mentioned that I was a little out of breath. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is what it was. It's what it was. You know. You're repeating yourself, Alex. I, no, only repeating to you because you hear it all the time. <laughs> By the way, our latest show, Marjorie, on Facebook, over 800 views. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that was short. Really? That was short and really nothing. It really it's, was. It's, it's a five-minute <laughs> talk it's about absolutely we did, nothing. We did because we wanted to see if we could, like, chase everybody away is we actually tongue-kissed. Yeah, that, <laughs> I saw that. No one wants to hear. No one wants to hear from old people, and they don't want to listen to I'm, old. People. I'm still nauseous from watching that. If, if, yeah. if, you, if you saw two old people kissing in the park, you would want to puke. Right? <laughs> you could arrest them. In fact, you. What is the age of old? What is considered old? <laughs> Anything, <laughs> it all depends on how old you are. Yeah. <laughs> It's 20 years older than whatever you are. <laughs> yeah. When I was uh, uh, years ago, I when you didn't carry a camera everywhere, okay, you only carried a camera when you were going out to shoot film, okay. I didn't have a camera with me, but I wish I had because I saw the perfect photograph. And what it was, it was on 23rd Street, there was this uh, step going up into a building which wasn't being used or something like that. And there were two old people, an old woman, an old guy, and they looked like they were actually uh, 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 homeless, a, a stoop, kissing each other with a sign up above them that said, no loitering and an arrow pointing right down to them. <laughs> Uh, to this day, I, I rue the fact that I didn't have a camera with me at the time. Mm. I thought I was going to say, give us money and we'll stop kissing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I don't know if that didn't help uh, hurt our uh, chances of getting an audience this week. But mm. we, we got it like 800 so far. And I'm going, this is ridiculous. What do I, you know? Uh there is this girl who is on uh, on on uh, YouTube, which I really haven't shown Marjorie. I should. She's a uh, she and her family came from the Ukraine, from Ukraine, live in L.A. now, and she studied the violin. And at she's fourteen years old now, and she does busking on the streets of uh, I think it's out there in uh, what's uh, what's the beach out there the uh, the Santa Monica? No, not Santa Monica. You know the one I'm talking about with... Uh, Venice Beach? Venice Beach, yeah. And she's out there busking, playing, busking? Violin, playing popular songs on the, on the violin and dancing at the same time and has the most adorable looking face. I mean, she has a lovely face and it's just amazing. She gets sometimes 5 million views. <laughs> <laughs> Five million views, and not that she doesn't deserve it. She's very good, and she's very charismatic. But I think about it, and she's got like fifty different videos up there, and they're all over a million. And for every million you get, you get four thousand dollars. Wow! So she's gotten pretty wealthy. She and her Ukrainian family, mm -hmm. you know, have done pretty well. And she's very probably good. supporting them. Hmm? She's probably supporting them. Yeah, but I mean, she's, you know, to me, it's amazing when people get that number of views. And I think, of, you know, maybe I'll go out on the street and try and play the violin. I don't know, you know. Uh, Do you still have your violin from your dad? Or my little baby violin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They bought me when I was a kid because my father was a violinist. He figured maybe encourage me. I got what was called a baby violin. It was only about that big. And if you look at her in the video, she started when she was like 11 or 12. And you go back to the first videos and you see she's got a smaller violin than the one she's using now. Hmm. Because, you know, you don't want a little kid playing a giant violin. But anyway, growing up in a home with a violin, seeing this girl play the violin just uh, grabs my heart, you know, heartstrings. So anyway, Toshiki, what's new? Nothing. 
Wow. You usually have a lot to say. You look like you're falling asleep. Oh, it's the Phil Spector thing we're watching. Oh, oh is huh? anyone watching it? I want to watch it. It's on Showtime. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You wonder why this guy went crazy? Just watch it. <laughs> where, where does it start? Does it start back? It starts way back, right? It's I like it's it's where, it, where it starts actually is with the murder. Ooh. And then, and it, then goes it goes back. and then it goes back. <laughs> yeah. Relating to his history. Uh, but they're always kind of involving the murder into all of it to kind of it's trying to suss out who this crazy man really was. And he was really quite, quite nuts. Wow. You know, uh, did you ever meet him? No. Did you ever meet him? Or no. Interview no. Him? no, I I did not. I was not uh, in a position to meet him. Hmm. Uh, when I was finally doing OK here in New York, <clears throat> and I was interviewed and so on. He was already slow. You know, the time with the business was when he put out Mountain Deep. What is it? Valley Deep Mountain High or whatever that thing was by Tina Turner. Mm. He, it's, it's an incredible piece of music. Well, is he cutting out to everybody else? Or? Yeah, I was wondering that too, yeah. Your voice is Your going, voice is going in and out. Oh, my. You're, You're not, we don't hear you at all now. The first two words come out and then it's all. Mm. There's a whole. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's make up words for what he's saying. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> what? Nothing. Here. What could there possibly be the problem? There's a problem today. There you go again. Um, there you go again. But uh, nobody else is cutting out. Huh? Everybody. Else. Yeah, it's you, Alex. Watch what I can say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, turn your mute off, Alex. We, we can't hear a word, Alex. Sorry. That's worse. <laughs> this is this is. I'm I'm recording. What is the problem? Huh. This is amazing. I, you're back now. Here. Uh, let me see here. Audio. Automatically adjust noise suppression. Let me turn that off. Let me see here. And I can't turn that off. Go back on the faint noises. The original sound from music studio environments. How's this? Same thing. Oh, no. Cutting out. Okay. Oh, well, I don't know. I can't. Uh, 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 let me see. Marjorie, Marjorie's going to have to host the rest of the show. <laughs> go in bed with Marjorie. That'd be great. Yeah. You get a lot of views. Start but, kidding. Yes, the numbers would go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what, what the problem is. Speaker, same as system. Okay. There we go. Okay. No. No. Nothing. Wow. The first 15 minutes, you didn't have any problems. Yeah. 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 Well, it's getting worse. Maybe you got to log on and log back on. Log yep. off on. Then I turn off the recording. See, oh. that's the problem, I guess. Oh. I'm not watching now, screw them. Yeah, right. What was that? What is this all about? That's, that's amazing. Mandy's going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You disappeared, Mandy, so I thought you were going to help Alex. <laughs> no, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I was working. So. Mandy, what are, you, what are you doing with your house right now? Are you everything moved or? Yeah, I just like I said, I just have to get my shed finished. I can move the junk out of rooms like I have an extra bedroom and a utility room like this. Is my laundry room, and it's just full of stuff. So once I do that, I'll be happy. But this man is very meticulous building my shed. <laughs> a 75-year-old's like Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh, You're still horrible. fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. Maybe you ought to come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just leave us on. 
Somebody so hang up with, on that guy. He's go annoying. With, go with Marjorie. Go 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 do the show for Marjorie's. Yeah, she's, her her sound is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we're all no, fine. You know what? I, I have to tell you that that uh, this weekend, perfect. I saw the movie Tor. And yeah. there was some, uh, and there was so, and it was a wonderful movie, but there was something wrong with the, with the sound, and the movie is kind of like, um, you know, it's it's kind of mysterious, and we thought maybe that was what was programmed in, and it turned out it was not programmed in. There was something wrong with the sound. Should they give you your money back? No, no, we, uh, uh, um, they, uh, I would have um, uh, just left, but uh, I was with a, a couple of other people, and they wanted to stay because, like, we could, you could, like, just make it out. And there was a movie about music, yet, oh. <laughs> which, made, which made it even more ridiculous. But the music uh, it was, it was something wrong with one channel because the music was okay. The music came in from like different directions, and that was okay. But the dialogue, you had a strain to hear it. I thought I lost my hearing. <laughs> Turned out that I did not lose my hearing. <laughs> uh, the, the movie, the movies are getting such a low attendance now that I think that they're not paying attention the way they should. Hmm. Well, I think movie theaters are on their way out. No, no, no I'm not ready in. for that. I am. <laughs> oh no, I miss it. I would really miss it. And Where do you get popcorn? <laughs> well, I'll do this. Let me see here. Um, uh oh, there he goes. Okay, so how are you doing, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're getting a lot of rain in Austin. <laughs> it rained over the weekend in California too. We could all talk and hear yeah, that's you. Why I'm coming in here? Oh, oh there you. Here. Here. Well, good. now we have you in bed together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we were talking about, I think. <laughs> you couldn't hear me so, either. Yep. Now we're going to get really demonetized. <laughs> You're probably going to have to try you zooming me later and see what happens. Look, we'll check it out. Could be just, uh, I don't know. I, uh, everything's away. Nothing was changed. Hmm. Yeah. Well, something happened, obviously. No. Oh, boy. It's wonderful. Another day. You know, this is my life is just putting out fires one after another. We got Rick's fire put out, taken care of. He called Verizon and it took him about 10 minutes to put you back on with your Wi-Fi. And it was longer than that, but it was a matter of he had to give me a new new password. <clears throat> oh. New password. Okay. And you were then you were good to go. Yeah. 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 Is everybody getting and I'm still listening to the same seven channels I did when I didn't have the Wi-Fi working? So what's the difference? Right, right exactly. What 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 uh, who, so this year got more texts for different propositions still coming through. Oh, for well, supposedly your big proposition out there is for the for dialysis. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah there's you a guy know, out there. Supposedly every other ad on TV is for these dialysis proposals. Yeah, there's a doctor. There's a doctor saying, "Yeah, the, save our dialysis." Yeah, I know. I know what's his name talked about it a lot, and it's true. Every it Bill Maher. Bill Maher, who said one ad comes on and says, "If you vote against dialysis, I will die." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next ad comes on and it says, "If you vote for dialysis, I will die." <laughs> yeah. The same so, with the Indian casinos too. There's two of them, and that's all yeah. you see. Really? Yeah, twenty six and twenty seven, and then they there was a there was something saying that the people who are backing one of them who are saying you know oh don't vote for or vote for us because we're you know we don't want people gambling all that or we want we want to make sure the money's going to the tribes or something like that and it was backed by these on the bottom you could see it had like by these bet dot com guys but the ad made it seem like oh. You know, we'll, we'll make sure we, the bets don't happen and more money go to the tribe. But then they still, it's still backed by betting companies. It's like bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh boy. So I, 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 that's the problem with the propositions is don't know what to believe because everything is like, you know, it's like, it's so confusing on what actually they want, you know? That's well, I'm surprised, I'm surprised Marty, actually in Georgia, what's happening is that if nobody gets 50% of the vote, they have to hold a runoff. Yeah. So this Herschel Walker thing is probably not over yet. Because even I, if one I can't win, take it. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't take another ad about Herschel <laughs> Walker holding a gun to this woman's head. I just can't do it. <laughs> I won't what? be able to watch television for a while. Wow. Yeah, I feel so, sorry for you down in Georgia. Yeah. You know. But it was easy enough for you to vote, though, but I think they're trying to do something to prevent your write-in ballots from being used or whatever. <laughs> or did you go to some polling place? I, I went I went to do early voting. Yeah. yeah I, I, I did. Yeah. How many here have done early voting already? Well, I voted by mail. Yeah. By yeah. mail. Yeah. I think it's Georgia, but it may be another state that they're going to stop counting at seven o'clock tomorrow night. Did mm. you hear that? I have not heard that. That would be terrible. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. And no, the only reason is for that. That's the highest that Walker can count. <laughs> <laughs> or is it they're not they're not even going to start counting until after seven mm. o'clock tomorrow night? That makes they more sense. For counting. That that they, the polls yeah. aren't closed. At least seven. Yeah. Who right. knows? I think there is, I think I heard there was a lot, like either in Pennsylvania or Wisconsin, that they can't, that was the case, that they can't count the others early. Right. So in other words, basically, they want the Republicans to look like they're winning. Yeah. And when they are counting all the mail ins and the absentee, then it'll look like it's stolen. Yeah. You know, exactly. When it's being more Democrat leaning votes being counted. You see, you've also got an independent uh, running, and that independent, uh, it's the Green Party, maybe the Green Party or one uh, some other party, it, mm -hmm. is that one that's going to keep it from going over 50%. So In Georgia? Yeah. 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 So they have to have another runoff in December, I think it is. <laughs> I thought it was around Thanksgiving. They were talking about it at the Thanksgiving table, you're going to have all these ads. Ugh. As placement. <laughs> Never ends. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, we voted, and, you know, I had to vote for what I call the lesser of two evils, you know, um, because our mayor, she, uh, our governor, she's terrible. She's really terrible. But the guy who's running against her is Worse. just hor just a horrible human being. Okay, <laughs> it's true, it's true. So you know what what what's the story on our governor? Have you got some stuff on her, Shaki? Well, she's building that um, mausoleum in Buffalo for football. That her husband's on the huh. committee that's getting money to build it. Oh, yeah. you know, there's seven football games in a city in a year. So we're going to spend three billion dollars to build them a stadium. Oh, Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. Yeah. 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 They want to build a stadium. I don't think and I don't think he's from Buffalo, of course. I don't because think all that we had to pay for the Cowboys new stadium. Yeah, yeah I don't think I don't think any I'm that bothers me. I don't think any municipalities or governments should pay for a football stadium that a company is going to make money yeah. out. Of. Right. And then we give them tax write offs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and their, their big threat is, well, if you don't do it, uh, we're, we're gonna, moving. We're yeah. going to move. We'll go. Leave us alone. You know, don't put that threat on us. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, why why should you have to pay several? I don't know, what's it costing to build that goddamn stadium anyway? A few billion dollars. Yeah, a few billion dollars. Why should the government pay, pay a few billion it. dollars so then the uh, organization that owns the Buffalo Bills can move in there? Um, do, are they rent free? I'm, I I don't even know about that. I'm sure they are. 
you know, and 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 so what? Why should they have a stadium that we build? And then if they leave, what do we got? We got this thing you can't use, except for an occasional U two concert. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the state high school championships played there every year. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I just, I, I'm. It's wrong. Yeah. It's wrong. Everything's wrong these days. <laughs> you know. What I loved is all, we have a list of the people, and they're not small list of, of Republicans, right? who in the case of uh, Pelosi's husband oh. started going with the gay narrative. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this was a guy he picked up at a bar or something and that's how it happened. And he was oh. wearing his underwear. Oh, geez. They keep asking, the glass, the glass that broke the window, did it go inside the house or outside the house? Exactly. Oh. God, really? Yeah, but I mean, to me, that is so just below the belt that I can't believe it, you know? But yeah. a lot of people do, are going to believe it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, to begin with, he's an 82-year-old man. I speak for 82-year-old men saying, we really don't care about getting laid. <laughs> 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 and and, and I, I, I hardly think he's going out, you know, trolling the bars, all right? Yeah. Gay clubs. Plus, if he did, everybody would go, look, it's Paul Pelosi. Yeah, right. A long time ago. A long time ago, they would have found out. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it, it's just terrible. What politics has become is just a blood sport, and that's it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, we're the horrible recipients of it because we have to vote. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How's it how's it going out there, Paula? You've got uh, you got that whole thing with uh, Ryan, J right? J yeah, and JD Vance. So they, and uh, JD yeah. Vance, well, the hillbilly yeah. who, who, guy. who started so. out saying saying that Trump was Hitler, like Hitler. Yeah. And and now he's uh, you know, what can I say? Yeah. And, um Ryan is Tim Ryan is a good guy. Yeah. I I heard him speak and he's he's a decent guy and he's running a good campaign. Um, and um, it's going to be sad, you know. Like that, the the the, the, um, the predictions are that it's very very close, but um, I don't have too much faith in Ohio at the moment. The prediction I heard, the closest prediction is that Ryan, that uh, uh, Ryan will win. Um, I I sure as hell hope so. Right. You know, and the, uh, well, the you know, that, and that would be important because that that's a, a, a you know a, a Democratic senator. I mean, you know, but he, he's been a, a, a congressman for all this time. Yeah, and he's he's a decent guy. Well, he knows he knows the job. Ryan yeah. doesn't uh, rather J D Vance yeah. doesn't know the job. That's he's the absurd. J D Vance is he's just absurd. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get really political here, but in all these cases, Doctor Oz Walker. J, uh, J.D. Vance, these are all people who have no experience whatsoever going up against people who have experience. Now, all I say to people is, if, you're, if you have a company and you're hiring people to do a job and you've got two people up for the job and one's never done that job before and you had somebody who did it tons of other places, which one are you going to hire? Well, it's the only place where we brag about, the, a guy brags about the fact that, he was not, that he's not a politician. I'm not well, a politician. Sorry, but <laughs> that's, I, that's my that's that's why you should vote for me because yeah. I don't know anything about politics. That's one of the stupidest arguments you can make because, quite frankly, but it if, works. If my plumbing goes out, I'm not hiring Checky to come over and fix it. <laughs> I'm not a plumber. Let me do it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a plumber. I won't charge you as much. You know, right. it's all ridiculous. And yeah. then, of course, he's, uh, then she could be watching YouTube videos to find out how to fix the plumbing. You know? <laughs> um, but I just I find it just amazing that, that we live in a time when people don't make maybe they maybe we've never had intelligent voters. Maybe I'm just expecting too much out of the American public. 
but <laughs> the name calling has gotten ridiculous. I yeah, mean, it's I mean, all about I think, yeah. I, yeah. Again, we're not talking about politics here when we talk about the tone yeah. of the campaigns. You know, I mentioned to Marjorie last night as we were watching all these ads one after the other during 60 minutes and during the news and so on passed by that not one of them was for somebody. They were mm -hmm. all against somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I find that a bit disconcerting, <laughs> you know, come on, you're running for office. Tell me what you're about. And you know, the other thing you don't see, a lot of ads, where they're pack ads and so on and so forth, they don't tell you what party the yes, other guy is. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they—they're too, they they are too they they feel too ashamed of being Republicans to say, I'm the Republican candidate for office. Right. I mean, how many times has Walker down in, uh, in Georgia, uh, Mandy, uh, said, uh, uh, hey, uh, I got an idea here. Uh, uh, why don't you vote for me? Because I'm a Republican. Right, right. Soft yes. pedal. About how he wants to um, be kind to each other. That that one of his ads is he's just like being interviewed. It's like it's just showing him. He said, "We just need to be kind to each other." It's like, yeah, that's yeah. it's really not that simple. I mean, yeah, that's a nice sentiment, but I want a guy who's going to go to Washington and kick ass and take names. Yeah, <laughs> and know what they're doing. Like, can you imagine him, like, you know, creating a staff? I mean, like. <laughs> he'll be a pup. He'll be, he, he would be a puppet. Yeah. Very much. For, for whoever. Yeah. And it's six years. It's not like it's a rep. Like, yeah. two, six years. It's a serious job. Wow. <laughs> well, I'd say Marjorie Taylor Greene will probably be given oh, no. a very senior <laughs> committee. Yeah. Is she and like that dude's not even I can't imagine I just can't believe that she's not going to get kicked out the she wants to run for dominatrix well, you know it, 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 yeah. it, 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 <laughs> to Marjorie Taylor Green she is in what upstate Georgia in a area that is pretty much stupid yeah but the guy like before she I think she ran unopposed or something yeah, it was she did but this guy that's running against her is very respectable he's uh, military, I think, you know, ex-mil, like a veteran. I can't imagine that. Bless He's my getting mind. all sorts of money. Oh, my gosh. She's yeah, crazy. the Democratic Party is not helping them. No. I know. I haven't seen that many ads for him, honestly. Well, I think that the Democrats, would you, Charlie, would you say that the Democrats have not been doing their job this year? Definitely not. You know? Definitely not. Like, for instance, they sent out to uh, Philadelphia yesterday. Uh, they had all three former presidents there. But you don't in, wait. In, in order. <laughs> but you don't wait until the night before an election. Yeah. They started six to eight well, months the ago. The thing is, they, they didn't get, they haven't been uh, with it enough to know that a lot of people are voting ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not a Tuesday deal anymore. Right. And that they should have been there two weeks ago. Months ago. Stumping for like Fetterman, you know? And they did, you know? So, I mean, uh, they, they, they deserve what they get. Plus, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't send Biden out anywhere to stump for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> the point thing is, the reason why he, he gets out there and they stump for him uh, is because uh, he's stumping for people. He's only stumping for people at Democrat-only rallies. He's not going out and trying to rally the people in general. Mm -hmm. And that's the other problem. I mean, when they go but give Obama the- Obama is, when Obama o is. When Obama and Biden showed up to give that speech, their speeches the other day, isn't that wonderful? Laurel and Hardy are back together again. <laughs> uh, they, uh, the problem that they had there was they were playing just nothing but Democrats in the room. Mm. Well, what does that do? You know, I mean, I I just think that uh, the way people are, the way the Democrats have gone about it is all wrong. And I'm sorry, Biden doesn't engender anything. You know, he may be doing an okay job. I'm not going to complain about the job he's doing. I'm just saying that he's not. He gives a speech and he's not exactly with it. Okay. 
Whereas, of course, Obama is amazing. Just an amazing. He's been great out on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when you when you hear Obama speak, you're like, wow, this is what we had before. Wow, it's yeah. like mm -hmm. it's like a high schooler and an elementary kid difference. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, he's a you know he's a rock star. Oh. Obama. Yeah, he always mm -hmm. has been. Uh, okay, yeah, so Donald Trump then to his <laughs> constituents. But that, I don't know if he's a rock star. You know. He's, he's a, to begin with, he's a reality show star, mm -hmm. you know. Well, what, what's a guy who's the host of Survivor, uh, Jack, uh, John? Jeff Probst. Jeff Probst. Jeff Probst. Yeah. I want to vote for Jeff Probst for president, <laughs> you know. Why? He's on another Burnett show anyway, <laughs> you know. It's so Obama. funny because Obama, when he's speaking, it's more, you feel like, positive feeling when, yeah. when Trump speaking is like always negative you know where like, are those guys where are the guys that came out of nowhere Obama came out of nowhere I'd never heard of him and all of a sudden he's leading the pack and he wins the presidency where are those guys now there's got to be a senator a governor somebody out there that can start talking now and do years you, from now you know what, what it is uh, I think where Obama was concerned you had something very unusual you had a guy who was an exceedingly good speaker, was good looking. Intelligent. Okay. I called him the stealth yeah. candidate. Yeah. He had all the yeah, things exactly. going for him you need to win. Right. And, and believe it or not, he didn't have the experience. He'd only been a senator for two years. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And for one of those years, he was running for office. Mm -hmm. You right. know, but but he had the charisma. But where is that guy? There's got to be another one. There's got to be enough somebody we don't know about. There's got to be. Well, they say this guy Shapiro, in 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 Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, who's running for governor, he could be the stealth candidate. He's I, very good. I don't think I mean, so. I don't think he doesn't have. Um, I, he's a competent guy. I've seen him on TV. He's easy to listen to. He makes a lot of sense. But charismatic, I don't think so. Mm. I think he, I think, well, he doesn't have it like Obama had it. How about Gavin Newsom? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong I with him? I, I, like, I like him. I don't. Me too. I like him too, but I think in the last year they've given him a charisma bypass. Yes. You know? <laughs> I mean, how about you, Len? You're in that area. Yeah, I, I got no use for him. I don't know what it is. There's something about him that rubs me the wrong way. He's like a used car salesman. Or I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, first of all, he slept with Kamala Harris, I think. Well, they dated. Uh, then they, then they, believe me, they had sex together. <laughs> yeah, they said they had sex yeah. together. What's and, a big deal? Yeah. Well, and, and Kimberly Guilfoyle, too, as, as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's not married now, is he? Yes, he is. Oh, he is married? Who? Oh, okay. The Newsom. Yeah, Newsom. his wife is testifying in the. Um, it, What's his name? Trial. Who is? What, What's his what, name? The one that trial. Weinstein. 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 Yeah, Weinstein. Uh, oh. He's testifying. Why did he goose her? He. <laughs> she's not going to let it go. That's for sure. Wow. wow. And Brian, where have you been? Where'd you go? Did you have to go feed the kitty? I, I helped Adrian find shorts. She's running around in her underwear. She needs to get it. <laughs> yeah. That's why she stuck her head out and not her body. <laughs> you, would have, you would have been more than demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. They she do have. Out, she gets out early this week because they have parent-teacher conference this week, and then they have the Veterans Day off. So, uh, since you I, asked me on uh, on uh, where is it on on YouTube? Uh, were there any children in this video? And I keep forgetting to say yes. Oh, <laughs> when, when she's on it. Yeah, yeah. And she's a child. You know, she yeah. comes into not that cat. Not in her mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She, she, she acts up very nicely. I, I really hope you have a baseball bat waiting by the door when she. Wait till she starts dating, Brian. Wait till she starts dating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, the good thing is they have so many apps now, you know, like the, but I know if I was a kid, I I, I know I could work around these apps, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
but but the app. Oh, was, listen, uh, every one of her friends knows how to work around that app. That's yeah. right. All the kids, I you know, they, they show. What, well, what do you do? You, you put an app on their phone. Yeah, so you know where they are, but then you know. Then they leave. The, then they leave their phone somewhere else. <laughs> my son's exactly. My son's home right now. But yeah, you, you know, you leave your leave your phone at work and go run around with your friends and you know, who knows I would you, think you have an app on the car you have an app on the kid you have an app on the house you know so it's like well, everything the, monitored now can you the read the chip kid. from the from the vaccination can you read that chip at all or yeah that would be <laughs> we don't know about that one though yeah, yeah the house and then you know the house so like when we were kids I mean I had a I had a couple parties at my house <laughs> but I couldn't do that now because you get ring yeah. you know yeah. so yeah. Yeah, but uh, but I, I guess the question I'm asking is that 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 you put an app on the kid's phone so you know where they're going. They know the app is there. The app should be made so that you can yeah. you yeah. can take the app and yeah. make it not recognize, not be on the desktop of, the, of right. the phone. No, they don't. They cannot do that. So you know those air tags. You know they have yeah. that thing. So if I'm driving with Tiffany that her phone will detect my air tag and my air tag is by somebody else it's not her air tag mm -hmm. so it'll detect that there's an air tag following her mm -hmm. and it'll alert her it'll say that there's somebody with the air tag that's following you yep yeah they they have to have that for security reasons because if somebody put an air tag if like yeah. if i put an air tag on or if some guy put an air tag on some girl's purse or, or some girl's car and yep. then they follow her you know, they could see that air tag is in her car, and that is not her air tag. So it alerts her. Said, "There's an air tag with you," um, just to make sure that there's nothing. If she's driving home from work and say, "Wait, there's nobody here," then they would she would know something's going on. Well, that's amazing. It's amazing how scary it is today yeah. Yeah. to be out there. It sounds well, like something out of a science fiction novel. I get this like, <laughs> yeah, but it's this real, Paul. But Paul, it's real. It's real. Well, I put an air tag. I know. I know. I put an air tag in my wallet and every time I go down to Whole Foods and I leave it, I get a message on my watch that says, you left your wallet, your, your a tag. Oh, there she is. Oh. <laughs> hey, how yeah. you doing? Say hello. Hey, say hello. Say hello. <laughs> You're on the air. You're on the air with Alex Bennett and friends. <laughs> hello. Hi. 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 Oh, uh, this is my ventriloquist act, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Alex and Marjorie, you look so handsome and beautiful today. <laughs> oh, his lips barely move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you going to say something? Oh, no. Apparently not. Okay, I'm not going to help you take off your top in front of everybody. Go. <laughs> Close the thing. Give me 10 minutes. Say hello or say goodbye. Okay, say goodbye. When, when are you having the poll installed? <laughs> oh boy, she couple. Are you getting? You're not getting into that area where she's going to be a handful. Oh, oh she's oh, going to be yeah. a handful. Wait till she's sixteen. Oh, <laughs> Do you I'm think thinking about women? Do you think you've spoiled her? Oh, there we go. Oh, what is the this? kitty cat. Oh. Oh, the kitty cat. Oh, yeah, I, I, I get in trouble because I hear I spoil her. So, <laughs> well, you know, you have that right. You, you've you gone this long without a kid. Yeah. And you yeah. have one, and she's. Uh, That's a pretty. Yeah, he's really. I, I love the stripes and everything. He's a really That's beautiful. That's a beautiful cat. Yeah. yeah. He's only uh, eight, nine months or 10 months old. 10 months old. Uh -huh. What's what's the cat's name? Armin. Oh God. Armin. 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 Yeah, DJ. There's a famous DJ named Armin. So. Oh God. Daddy, help me over here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <Wow. laughs> yeah, so, so, so that, that's, that's, that's your health day, day, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Adrian Show. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sometimes when I was really sick, I would go to work anyway to be away from the kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Why do you think I went to work during COVID? <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I, don't, I can't, I cannot believe people stayed home for so long with the family. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't believe we didn't go out for a year at least. Yeah. In yeah. Most part. You know, uh, she worked from home and, you know. A lot of people still work at home. Yeah. 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 Me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to go back into the other room to sign the show off. I'll see if you can hear me. But if you can't hear me, I'll wave goodbye to you. Okay. <laughs> we, should have, we should have Edward Berger right now do his sign off. You are, I'll do it now. That's all, folks. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wave. Either that or when I wave. But I'm not going there yet. We still got a Bye, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll be glad when when this midterm thing is over with because it's just you know it's enough. I'm tired of it. Yeah. You know, and they, they had signs up forever. You know, they had signs up for the primaries, and then the people who won the primaries they left those up there, so they've been littered all over the place. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh boy, I yeah. I don't even care about it. I voted two, three weeks ago or so. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We voted okay. what last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got in the stroke victim line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing mine tonight. Last year, I can it up them all. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm quite frankly, I just think it should all be done through the mail. Yeah, or, I, yeah. I could even, I even see that you could do it safely uh, on the internet. Yeah. Know? But they just, you know, nobody want, nobody trusts that. That's yep. the problem. Yep. You know, they they trust that we're paying, you know, using well, your they, credit card at a restaurant is concerned, but it doesn't, you know. Well, uh, with the Republicans, if they don't win, uh, then the it was a it was rigged. So we don't want everybody voting by mail because you got this paper trail. They can say go back and count all the votes. Right. We don't want that. Yeah. yeah. But. Ugly. I just think we should make it so that everybody who need wants to vote can, and that they don't yeah. have to work too hard to go do it. You know? Right. So in the old days, people went, I don't have to go down there, wait in line at the voting place, and go vote. And it'd be yeah. just be nice if there was a way they could do it. How about automatic yeah. registration? We should all be, we, we, should, we shouldn't yeah. have to uh, to go through anything for registration. You're right. Yeah. Hey, listen, if you're on the list. For jury duty, you should be allowed to vote. Yeah. Right. You know, not right. have to sign Amen. up for it. I mean, if you got a driver's license or an ID card, you should be registered, period. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, or a social <laughs> security number that should make you eligible. Mm. Or a birth certificate would do it. You, you'd yeah. hope so, yeah. Uh, FYI, speaking of that, I have jury duty next Monday. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> You'll get your eight dollars an hour or eight dollars a day. I think. Right. I did. Not, I did. not the first day, though. At least we. I, I tell them, kill them all, let God sort them out. Then they usually. Excuse me for <laughs> I was part of the jury pool with Steven Soderbergh, the director, wow. and he got out of it because he was going to rush. He was going to Cuba to make a movie, which was Che. And I got out of it because I said that I didn't believe that drug offenses should be illegal. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, as I'm walking out, Soderbergh says to me, oh, wow, flimsy excuse to get out of jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think having a, like a movie was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go, go to the other machine. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> is, he, is he in the bathroom? <laughs> no, he went to, back to his computer. That's how big the house is. It takes him yeah. that long. You know? He gets lost sometimes. He's yeah, exhausted. He's exhausted. There he is. Can't, can't, can't hear He's you. making it up. Oh, my God. Second. I'm thinking. Oh, there, there you you just wait goodbye, Alex. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Can you hear okay. me now? I can hear yeah. you now. Yeah. Can hear yes. Me. Wait a minute. Oh. oh, there we go. There was something. I think at my vote. My it was. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. A little high, but yeah. I know what it was because if I turn it up too high, this. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, you're going away. Mm -hmm. You went out mm -hmm. again. Now, okay? Yeah. 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 It doesn't matter that I had the mic up too high. Uh, was it's nice doing the show with my job. attractive wife. Okay. <laughs> mm. Good. It's okay. very nice to have that lady working with you. I, I don't right. remember her. But... They have, they have the show ratings go this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can all hear me fine now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Say well, good night. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, listen, uh, thank you so much to Marjorie Miller for joining us today. Especially again. See how she appears uh, every every couple of weeks on the Marjorie and Alex show. Is mm. uh, <laughs> the star of the show. Nobody watches for me. Come on. <laughs> uh, and uh, also, I want to uh, I want to thank uh, Charlene for being with us. Thank you, Charlene. Did I see a tattoo on your arm? Yep. I got lots of tattoos. I have eight tattoos. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. wow. <laughs> what knew? made you do that? What? What made you do that? Um, well, it started off with um, I was uh, involved in Relay for Life because uh -huh. uh, my parents died from cancer. So I started off with a little tiny um, half moon that's a, um, or quarter moon. That's the symbol for that. Just a little tiny one. Yeah. And then after that, I got the bug. So mm. yeah. that, that's what happens. You get one and then boom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Shecky. Shecky is uh, all full of tattoos, aren't you, Shecky? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> there is silent film stars. And uh, you've got Theta Bear on your ass. <laughs> uh, thank you, Charlie Wallace, for joining us today, as well as Jeff Stein. Paula, we always love you, sweetheart. Len LaFrisco, good to see you again this week. Mandy O'Brien, um, uh, who is soon to be Brandy, uh, Mandy Neary. <laughs> Brian O'Brien. Brian O'Brien. Brian O'Brien. Yeah. And of course, the lovely and attractive Brian Neary. And now let's have Edward Berger do his famous sign off. That's all, folks. Bye bye. Everybody. See you next week. Bye. Okay. Bye.